Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art. So today I'm doing a watercolour and gouache sketch of uh, antelope and zebra. So yeah, I'm doing them in my Stillman and Burn A4 watercolour book um, with smooth paper. So yes, yeah, so I'm just starting off <coughs> with a sketch of the little antelope at the front, just drawing by eye. I got this picture reference off Pixabay. Um, yeah, I've been loving practising um, groups of animals and herds of things and mixed up at, like different species of animals together so yeah having a having a ball playing with this sort of stuff so yeah practicing um, for a much bigger piece that I'm hoping to do later on this year so yeah, so I'm just drawing the details of these little guys in now and now I'm going in and drawing the zebra so they're all sort of touching so it just sort of brings them all together in a in a nicer composition so yeah like as you can see this zebra is eating behind the first antelope and yeah its nose connects with the back the background of the antelope so they all sort of connect with the exception of the one zebra at the end that I'll do so as you can see I've made a bit of a mistake on the bottom there so I'll have to rub that out and change that in a mini have to hunt out my kneadable eraser and fix that up. So now popping the stripes in just randomly. So just take that in the shape of the body. Just like that. So the yeah the, the stripes aren't aren't the same as the reference. I'm just ad libbing, just putting them in any old way. Just following the contours of the zebra's body. So now I found my needable eraser. I can rub that bit out. Fix her up. Yeah, finish these stripes off down the legs. Now I'll pop in the second zebra. And they'll connect. So I've got the shoulders and the head and just the top of the back you'll see for this one. Just like that and then I leave the bit of the nose out because I'm um, going to be doing a grassy background so they, yeah, they won't the noses are disappeared and the bottoms of the legs are disappeared into the long grass so that's why they're not quite complete as a group of animals but um, yeah you'll it'll you'll see it as it comes along later you'll you'll see how it all comes together so you finish off those stripes now do the last zebra. And now pop stripes in. So yeah, I've been enjoying my drawing. I've been doing an awful lot of practicing. Um, yeah, so I've been um, practicing for Inktober, actually. I'm teaching myself how to use ink. I've bought a few fountain pens or a couple of fountain pens and I've got um, some dip pens as well. So I've been just drawing like crazy and, <laughs> and practicing every day. So been painting most days, but drawing absolutely every single day. So yeah, if you want to check those out, you can pop over to my Instagram. It's the same name, Jen's Wild About Art. I'd love for you to go and have a look and tell me what you think. So yeah, so now I'm just popping a wash in over the whole background because I'm going to do the grass first. So just wetting the paper right over. And then mixing up a green with yellow ochre and ultramarine blue. And then just taking that all over the background. And it doesn't matter. There's slightly different tonal values from the different mixes I've made. But it doesn't matter because I'll be covering it in grass texture anyway. So it'll all sort of blend in towards the end. So I just take that over the whole background. Just about there. Whoops, a bit thick, but that doesn't matter. Like I said, I can um, go over it with texture, grass texture later. I'll just add a bit more here, there and everywhere and that just brings it all together. And so uh, the trick with the uh, backgrounds of grass is, at, like I'm doing the initial layers now, but I have a, like a bluer mix of green at the back and a browner mix of green at the front. So it's warmer at the front, cooler at the black back. 
So yeah, I'll have more yellow ochre in the green at the front as I do the grass texture, just like here. There's a bit more yellow ochre in the mix and a blue, a bit more blue with the yellow ochre in the background. So as you go into the different distance, it cools off. So yeah, so now I'm just adding the grass texture in, just random squiggles, just like that. Just keeping it simple, not, not going to too much fuss. Just the illusion of grass. And then as you can see, I've got it a bit bluer under the zebra for the shadows, which I will go in and darken up even more later. I'll add a, a deeper purpley shadow underneath the zebra to ground them more. Let that dry now so I can come back into these guys with a bit of um, ultramarine and burnt umber, which creates a brownie grey. So I just do, the initial wash is a, a lightish, a, a very thin wash of this uh, grey that I've mixed. And I'll go over that a few different layers just to darken it up as I go. So yeah, so I just do all the stripes on these guys. Yeah, go over stripes at the back. And then continue on to the next one. Take that all over both of their bodies. Righto, so now I'm going back in with a darker mix of the Payne's Grey and Ultramarine and just darkening up the underside of their stripes. And everywhere it's darkest, I'm just going back in and with a, another coat of the Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. And as you can see, it's, a, it's almost black. It's a very dark brownie black. And so I'll do that just along the top of their mane. Do the stripes on that zebra, top of his mane, and then down the bottom. There's the bottom of all these stripes. And then finish off that tail in a minute. So now I'll go over to the third zebra. Rightio, so now I'll pop some detail in the eyes. Now I'm going back in with the darkest black, which is, well, it's the darkest greyish black that I've made with Burn Umber Ultramarine. So the third coat, I think it is, over the top of each other. And you can see it gives them depth and dimension, all these different layers of, of greyy brown. quite effective. So you just finish off the detail there. 
finish this other zebra, just going in with the darkest grey. And now I'm adding a little bit of uh, transparent sienna just into the shadowy areas of the zebra. Just a very wet wash of it just to create shadow underneath. Do that to all the zebra and as you can see as it dries it fades back quite light so that's good it just gives the illusion of shadow underneath just a warm shadow and now I'm going in to the antelope with a little bit of raw umber just a wet wash of raw umber just for their coat for their first layer On both of them, I'll take that down there. I've mixed a little bit of transparent sienna in with it as well, just to vary the colour a little bit. And now I'm going in with a little bit of transparent umber into the darkest parts of their coats. And just take that all around the different areas that have got little colour variations. And then just um, a bit more transparent um, sienna over the, uh, just over the back. And take that just down the legs a little bit. Now onto the other one. So again, a bit of transparent sienna. Just um, got a little bit of raw umber here, just darkening up around their coats. Oh, this is a bit of gouache, a bit of raw umber, watered down gouache. And now I'm just going in with a grey in the shadowy areas on the back of these antelope. And now a bit of umber, a bit of burnt umber, again to define those darkest areas in gouache. little antlers on that one. Just using a bit of Payne's Grey there. So now I'm going in with a little bit of burnt sienna, the gouache, a washed down gouache burnt sienna, sort of treating it a little bit like watercolour. So it's opaque, it's more opaque than the watercolour but um, still not as thick as you can have gouache, you can have it pure. So now I'm going with a bit of white for my white gouache onto the lightest areas that I sort of lost. I got a bit heavy handed with the watercolours earlier. So just tidying up a few of those little white areas. Now I'll pop some detail on that other deer or antelope rather. So that's a bit of burnt umber again, burnt umber gouache. Define those ears, bit of fur texture. So I've added a bit of yellow ochre to the white just to warm it up a little bit. Now I'm doing the purpley shadow in watercolour underneath the zebra because I had to ground them a bit more and they've got quite a dark shadow underneath them. And the antelopes, they do the same.
Righto, so now I'm just doing the very bottoms of all the stripes with black gouache. So I've done three layers of watercolour in varying shades of grey, dark brownie grey that I made from Burnt Umber and Ultramarine, and now I'm just doing the very bottoms of the stripes and the very tips of the manes with black gouache. So it just finishes off the dimension, I think, and do the tail there like that. Just darkest, 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 darkest bits. Take that round all the zebra. Just the very, very bottoms. As you can see, it's quite effective. Now finish off these antelopes. So again, yellow ochre with a bit of white. Just going over again, just the highlighted parts of the, the antelope. Just to soften them up a bit. now I've got the fountain pen out and I'm just going to do the very 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 tips of the lines on all the zebra just to square off the ends of their stripes just like that tops of their mane only the black bits so you had to incorporate me me fountain pen in there somewhere <laughs> couldn't help myself So now I'm just popping the highlights on with a white ink Posca pen or acrylic Posca pen just to get the bright whites back where, I, where I've had the bits under their tail and the highlights on their eyes. Oops. Now I've just got to darken around those whites of their eyes a bit more so go back in with the with the fountain pen and just finish off those eyes darken them up again finish off those antler and we're just about done so i hope you've enjoyed this video guys i've had an absolute ball making it um yeah i'd love you to click like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and i shall see you guys next video so have an awesome day guys and i'll see you then okay bye